Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Practical Stitches and I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Thanks to Michelin from Miss You Makes. She recommended that people watch my channel or she suggested to check me out and I can't believe how many of you did. So that's it's actually quite overwhelming and I would like to thank Michelin for doing that. I knew that she was going to mention something but I didn't know she was going to do all of that. So that was very nice of her. And it's very nice of you all to follow through and I cannot believe how many subscribers that I have gotten in the last few days. That was, it's really quite overwhelming and now I'm kind of nervous because <laughs> I'm used to only having a few people watch and now there's a lot of you, or it's a lot to me. So. Thank you very much. I love reading your comments and I have been answering them. I believe I have everyone so far and I am sorry to the lady from Australia. I messaged you twice. I was using my phone and I'm apparently not all that computer savvy and I answered the message uh, up with my phone instead of doing it the way you're supposed to, I guess. I don't know. It still works, but it disappears. And I thought, where did the message go? And I didn't think that it went through. And I was getting confused about who I answered and who I didn't. So, sorry about that. But what I said is genuine. Anyway. Try not to do that again. Message people twice. Whoops. Uh, I guess I should say I started this channel. I didn't realize there was a sewing community on YouTube, or I guess I didn't watch it very often, or I didn't really know about it. And I started to look things up. It was actually my boyfriend watches a lot of YouTube and you get sucked into these rabbit holes and I said there was something I wanted to make and I didn't know how and he said well just look it up and then I discovered that there was this whole sewing community that talks to each other and I just thought it was fascinating and now I'm hooked. I'm addicted and that's pretty much what I watch all the time. Uh, and I just wanted to join in and I decided to start my own channel and I just thought well I'll start it and see what happens and I'll do it till the end of the year like this year and if something good comes out of it then maybe I'll just see what happens. So quite overwhelmed. The, I guess I already said that and I really do thank everyone for watching. So I hope that I have something interesting <laughs> to show you and that you enjoy it. Uh, so yes, I just wanted to thank you all and thank Michelin and thank you. So I guess I'll talk about, I'm just sitting on my back step here and hopefully there's a robin chirping right now and their crickets are singing. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's kind of windy. So hopefully I'm talking loud enough. Anyway, yesterday I decided to make a t-shirt and I had bought this iron-on 
stuff. But it's, you get five sheets. It's actually quite expensive. I think it was around $20 for five sheets. It was just under 20 It was like, I don't know, $16.99 or something. And you just do it on your printer on your computer at home. And you can do photographs or words or whatever. And I thought it was kind of neat. I know people have used it with the cotton, like for... Uh, just like quilting fabric, like to make a pillow or something and put a photograph on it. And it works quite well. Anyway, I'm worse than a little kid. I was so excited to see if this worked that when I peeled the paper off, I caught a corner that wasn't quite right because I didn't really follow all the directions. I did it on the computer. My logo is backwards, and because I didn't flip it, which I knew that I had to do that, but I didn't do it because I just wanted to do it right away. And when I ironed it on, my iron wasn't at the hottest temperature I thought it was, and I didn't double check. And so this side started to lift a little bit when I peeled it off, so I tried to fix it, but then I didn't put the fabric over top, and I caught the bottom and took the stuff right off and then when I peeled it off I didn't really wait long enough for it because I just I had to look I wanted to see if it stuck just had to check it out couldn't wait the two minutes or however long just to get it to cool off to get it to set anyway and it's already cracking I don't know if you can see it's right I don't know. Anyway, so if you follow the directions, it may actually work. So, and I didn't go on the website. They recommend that you go on their website, and I didn't do that either. I just did it in WordPerfect and did it that way. Which you can still flip it, like the mirror image. Anyway, so that was that. I've been wanting to do that for a while, and I thought, oh, I'll get that done. Anyway, I'll still be able to, I'll still wear this, even though it, I imagine once I wash it, a lot of it's going to come off. And I use this pattern, which I get sucked into buying, what's number 7286. Because I like this view here, and I thought, well, it looks like it flares out, like, uh, like cut on the bias. It's not. It is fitted and it just kind of goes to a point. It doesn't flip. And you can't really tell because she's standing off to the side so you can't tell that it flares out. It doesn't. And even in the pictures in the back it looks like, or I think it looks like it flares out maybe Anyway, it doesn't. So I was a little disappointed. I did make this before and uh, I didn't even hem it. So I was kind of disgusted when I finished it. I will hem it and I will wear it. It's more of a fall shirt. I made it quite a while ago now. It'd be good in the fall to wear. So you'll probably see it. I just have to hem it and sew the neckline down. Anyway, the neckline in that one, in a large, was completely different than this one. I think it's just the stretch of the fabric, and this is quite stretchy t-shirt. It's just cheap jersey that I had bought, because we all know I don't pay a lot of money for fabric. Anyway, so I did the longer sleeves with the, the rounded bottom and I didn't even well, I didn't hem this one because it's I call this a baseball shirt and it just uh, surged it and I thought well that doesn't look bad so I just left it because I thought 
because I like the length of it. So, good turnout. I do like it. I think next time I'll make a large and kind of just a baggy t-shirt to wear around the house. Anyway, so that was my attempt at using the iron-on transfers and trying to use a pattern that I bought for different reasons. But I do like a raglan t-shirt. So I hope you found that interesting and what not to do with iron transfers. <laughs> Have a few patience. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. And I love hearing from you. And... Stay tuned. I will have some August makes at the end of the month. I do have a full-time job, so I probably... Two or three videos a month will probably... Because I'm not very good at sticking to a schedule. I'll try and do better. And... Try and keep you interested. Anyway... Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.